You're too old, fat man. Your tits are too big. Get the fuck off my porch. Hello, welcome back. Jess looks with Jesse. Once again, um, some more Tommy J guys, Tommy Johansson. Um, this again, <laughs> I'm gonna trend the night of not re reacting to stuff people re uh, recommended to me. No disrespect. Um, it's kind of a thing when you go in to pick a song and you see one and you just can't resist. Okay. I had no idea he did the song. It's, it, I would do anything for love, the Meat Loaf cover. Um, Y'all saw the title in the video. I'm not trying to build up suspense here or anything like that. Damn it. Um, the fact that he does a song, uh, this should have been the first song I probably reacted to from him, to be honest. I have a deep kinship with this song. This one takes me back to, it was released in 92 or 93. I think it was 90, uh, probably 93. Don't quote me on that. Don't hate me for... I'm old, okay? Um, but I remember this song came out that summer. And I was obsessed with this song. This was before YouTube, guys. We couldn't go back and just look up the music video of the song and watch it on repeat. Okay, this was... I had to sit there on MTV or VH1. I had two channels, at least. <laughs> to be fair, I had two channels. But it was a crap shoot. And here's the great thing about that was you discover some other great songs while you're waiting for your song to come on, right? Um, but this was that one that summer. This was one of a couple. There was, uh, I will do other songs. There were, I will never forget that summer, man. There was some just fantastic music. And I remember being home alone that summer, spending a lot of time. I mean, I had to do stuff around the house because my parents didn't let no shits fly I didn't get to be a, a bum but I would when I had my free time I would react to not react I would sit here and watch I'm reacting now I would watch you know what I could from music videos and man there was that was a golden age there were some I mean formidable years for your young Jess right and this is one of them this is one of the highlights actually this is probably pretty top tier um, of course, I found out later in life that Michael Bay directed the video. The great Michael Bay, right? The Rock, um, Bad Boys, Transformers. He's done just some great shit, right? And if you watch the video now on knowing that Michael Bay directed it, it's very obvious. But he came from the music video background. So, anyway, I know I'm rambling a bit, but I'm just excited because I want to check this out. So, Tommy J, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that.
man, what a short time member line that was. Um, Tommy Johansson. I would do anything for love. Uh, Meatloaf. Uh, that, that song, I can't even like begin. Like, There's those songs in your life that are like those big deals. This was one for me I will never forget. This is like that first... Maybe not the first, but it's really the first that like comes to mind. And you know, as an adolescent crossing into like you know, crossing puberty, like that kind of like time frame of like when shit really hit hard. You know what I mean? Like this was a song. Um, this was a biggie for me. Um, I absolutely love this song. I love Meatloaf. Um, it's funny, like, I got into Meatloaf that year because of this song, of course, but that whole album, Bad Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell, um, was a Christmas gift I remember that year. That I, you know, it was, it was gifted to me because I was so into this song. And I think there was another, there might have been another, I don't know if there was another single before this, before Christmas of that year. There were more after, I think, but. I don't want to get into the technical side of stuff there, but point in case was that, you know, then I come to find out, you know, mom grew up, my mother grew up with uh, Bad Out of Hell, the original Bad Out of Hell, which is a fucking epic album. That is a, um, that was a contender with like Thriller with Michael Jackson for like baddest album of all time. Um, that's, that, that album is the shit. And I had to go, I went back, I went backwards from, what was current to my generation, of course, was Bad Out of Hell 2. And then went back and revisited um, Bad Out of Hell, the original. And dear God, that's a freaking epic album. Um, uh, 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 we'll get into the songs. We're going to go through some way. I'll find a way. I don't care about it. I mean, I'll react to them even though I've heard them and I'm very familiar with them. That's fine. Um... But, I mean, there are so many epic songs from that album. But the song itself, on this, the, the song, the album itself is legendary. That's, Bad Out of Hell is an amazing album. Bad Out of Hell 2 is an amazing album. There is a lot of really, really good stuff on there. And um, anybody who like likes that type of music remotely... Listen to the whole album. Listen to it beginning to end. This is back when albums were mis- were were intended to be listened to beginning to end. Um, there's something there to be to be discovered. So um, anyway, um, I, I I could I could give you guys like a whole rambling. I'm already kind of going down that rabbit hole, right? But um, that album means a lot to me. This song means a lot to me. Those like. Badass song, man. If you were to school dance, junior high school, high school, and you heard that piano key on, you know, you knew what was up back in the day. So, uh, beautiful song. Tommy Johansson did a fantastic job with it. I'm, I'm super excited, like, when I saw it, and he did not disappoint me at all. He did, uh, he did me love proud. And, uh, yeah, just... You know, kudos, kudos all around. I'm super excited I saw this one. Sorry to everybody if I haven't reacted to your song yet. We will do it. I even skipped the song of the week, I think, this week to do this one. But we're, we're going to catch up. We'll do more, I promise. I promise. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for making it this far. You guys are troopers to listen to me go on and on and gush about my past. Um until next time, though, I mean, just uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Um, if uh, you got something to say, if you you know you like what I did, didn't like what I did, um, or you got more recommendations, uh, Tommy Johansson or otherwise, please leave them in the comments below. I love the comments, positive, negative, whatever. I'll take them. It's, it's all good. I love the feedback. And um, I just appreciate you all hanging out, listening to what I have to say, and most importantly, just jamming some music with me. That's a lot of fun to hang out. So until next time, take care.